welcome back to another episode of Lost Down to Survival. Today we return to boys and girls, and today there's that there's some guy. He's he's injured. He's freaking inside of my dog. What is up, Private? How are you doing? You need a band-aid? I got you, bro. Watch out, zombies are closing in. Jesus, why are there zombies attacking? Get out of here! I give you a band-aid and I get attacked. This is the worst trade in the history of trades. Oh wait! There's more. I'm sure that there's there's even more after that. Well, after we deal with all these zombies that apparently have decided to attack because I tried to help someone in need with a band-aid. Oh, y'all be getting, you know what you guys are getting. A granata! I'm so sorry, uh, healer. I hope that that did not affect you. Oh my God, there's even more. Y'all better not be breaking my walls, but that goes to show. Give a band-aid to someone in need and that this ends up happening. Thanks for the help. I owe you one. Thank you very much. You're just going to wander off there. That's all that I get. Hold up. Hold up. That's not, hello? Is it, you owe me one? Bro, bro, you kidding me right now? That's all I get and I owe you? Those are worthless in the apocalypse. Well, hopefully that ends up leading to something. See you later, private, uh, whatever your freaking name is. But we are back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hopefully you are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day. That is one of the new things that is available over here within the newest update 1.11.8. It appears that a random private can chill at your pickup truck. You give him a band-aid and apparently you get attacked for your act of kindness. Feels great, man. And today we're also popping open some of these Irish packs over here. Some of the best packs we've seen in a while where you can get them for the low, low cost of $10 for all 12 of them. And there will be a way to go ahead. I'll be showing y'all after you open this as well how y'all can go ahead and start working your way towards one of these bad boys for free. But without further ado, let's get to opening these. We got the St. Patrick's Day hat that we could actually potentially use now because the uh, my only other one I was kind of saving to use for the mannequin and we definitely need some of that C4 that we're going to be getting because if you get the 12 Irish packs as well you are guaranteed 4C4 along with some of these super dope St. Patty's hats and some military notebooks as well to turn in over at the bunker we got let's go a chopper too and that's the thing if you guys do not have a chopper gas tank or a chopper fork or really if your chopper is not built yet this could honestly be depend oh baby baby depending on your luck be one of the better packs you could go ahead and rip on open and we got some military notebooks and some butter 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 Hey, it's not the worst thing in the world. Give it a C4, though, the thing that I've been craving. But especially if you guys have not yet built up the chopper, this is going to be an amazing pack for you guys since it could give you one of the components if you are lucky that you need to complete it. And even if you have built the chopper, remember, let's go! These things can also be traded in over at the mechanic. Mechanic Jane, the gas station, they can be traded in and actually give you uh, upgrades towards other motorcycles, such as the off-road bike, the police bike, etc., etc. Hopefully, we can pull at least, like, one chopper gas tank out of here because we're having, let's go, some more C4. We've been having pretty good, extremely rare luck over here in the form of getting them, but we're just getting the lesser... Oh, sorry about the burp there. Valuable of the two. So come on, game. Come on, baby. Give me a little bit of luck. And so far, it does not appear like luck is on our side. But we got a cool hat. And maybe, let's see if we can't get it. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Give me that last one. We got some gold. I can't complain. That is always a decent thing to me. Oh, and look at the beauties, lads. Let's definitely take ourselves a St. Paddy's Day hat and also some of these military notebooks to go ahead and turn on in. And here you guys can see this nice C4 stockpile we have built up that we are going to be putting to use in today's raid. The thing is, we have not been raided yet, so we need to kind of work our way towards a raid. And we are one blind one kill away from making that happen. So without further ado, let's kill a blind one and make it happen and do so in some festive freaking spirits boys and girls with the saint patty's day hat and here's the thing as long as this thing doesn't break i don't care if it's only partial durability because then i could put that on the mannequin over here because in case you guys do not recall we're gonna head out here in just one moment and we'll talk about those free irish packs in a sec as well uh we got over here freaking our mannequin chill and his full chinese new year and irish hat which i'm not gonna lie dude that's a pretty freaking lit combo just saying super happy that we got the mannequin decked out in some of that jazz but oh baby Oh, we looking pretty good right now. So as long as we don't break that thing, as long as we have part of it, we could switch it out with the one that we have on the mannequin as well. But we go to Bunker to get to go into, unless maybe some sort of a, another event that we have yet to encounter might be appearing on the map that we could head on over to since it appears update 1.11.8 has added in some freaking events that just appear on the map. And there is a chopper event that we will happily make a detour to because chopper is one of best events 
Events in Universe, brought to you by International Event Rating Agency, headed by Comrade Star, Papa Star, aka, uh, and yes, Chopper Event, best event in the world. Why? Well, yeah, you're probably getting multiple guns out of it like this, so it's worth going into. I know it's kind of out of the way, but, uh, hey, so be it. Then we'll head on over back to the bunker, though. No need to worry. We are not going to be leaving something like that behind, because as you all know, the daily rating must continue. But if you guys want to go ahead and dive and start working towards getting yourself some free crates, that could be done through the very first link in the description, slash also the pinned comment. Y'all could go ahead and go to that and download the application, which will actually be a dope application that you could go ahead and do a variety of things within the application itself to actually earn points after you register. Just make sure that you register and make sure that you guys do use that link and click on it and install through that as well because that does also help support me and ultimately help support us doing openings like the freaking Irish pack opening that we did today, lads and lassies, and not just that, it also helps support us. Oh, baby, let's go and get a little bit of Granada. Oh, I'm happy to help these dudes out because, listen, a little bit of... I'm, listen, shooting grenades is always a fun time. We'll help these survivors out. Hold on, I gotta wait for my grenade to regenerate. Right. But uh, how you doing over there, Survivor? You doing good? You letting your friends do all the work? I don't blame you. That's pretty nice, sitting back with your gun. Until it breaks, that is. Then he's going to start going in all by himself. That's going to make for some fun stuff. But these guys are doing pretty good. But, uh, yeah, huge thank you to them for partnering up with us and actually making this possible. Because thanks to you guys utilizing the app and downloading it. Not just as a dope way for you guys to actually go ahead and start earning your guys' own gift cards. But also then it does help support us and ultimately the weekly $25 item such place to a gift card giveaway that we do every single week. Not to mention whenever we drop money in-game. It is largely thanks to this partnership over here. So, again, huge thank you to them for partnering up with us and making stuff like this possible because you guys know i always love showcasing off every single thing that gets added into the game doing huge unboxings and of course giving it back to y'all through the giveaway so that anyone who does decide oh baby we got another wave it's okay i got you dude i got you dude let's just go and gather these boys up they do not seem too interested Granata! okay that helped him out a little bit he's probably gonna end up dying though and he just you keep on batting away get some batting practice in little timmy hey you'll, you'll hit a home run one day there or get mobbed by the outfielders Looks like it was a mob by the outfielders type of day, unfortunate to say. But uh, yeah, huge thank you to them for partnering up with us, and huge thank you to you guys for going ahead and utilizing the app because it's a dope way of helping yourselves out and earning your way towards gift cards, and it does help support us, support the giveaways, and support just doing the dopest things that we can within Last Day on it. Because you guys know I'm always about having a fan for fantastic time, showcasing off everything that we humanly can, and just overall having a dope time man y'all know that's what i'm all about along with spreading some positivity so uh, make sure y'all go ahead and get onto it and hopefully y'all can go ahead and get some irish ooh, packs and some look at the irish ah not super great over there but uh, some irish packs and some look at the irish going your way as well i'll say goodbye to the charcoal for now i don't just need three charcoal on me at the moment please leave one message after the beep let's go and check the dead guys see if they got anything really that valuable because now nah, he's got a baseball bat he's got some other stuff and he's got ooh, Cool. Like, okay, he's got a little bit of a machete. Uh, I will leave these three band-aids behind. I'm so sorry, band-aids. I know your heart must probably be broken, but alas, I am very sorry. But you guys might be like, wait, what is this weekly giveaway that Star is talking about? Well, 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 in case you do not know, we are doing a $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway every single week. All that you guys got to do to go ahead and enter in on today's video on this Last Day on Earth video right here and right now is go ahead, leave a comment down below. Make sure that you are subscribed and make sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video. That will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single Last Day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as any new info comes out we're breaking it down we're connecting the dots with other info released in the past as well to give us the clearest look at what is to come what's coming in the next update what is coming in future updates and what is in store for us within the realm of last day on earth not to mention as soon as anything new comes out such as it has today we're diving headfirst into it and showcasing off everything that there is to offer we're opening up any new packs that there might be dropping showing off maybe how lucky they might be how unlucky they might be any jazz like that also today's bucket code in case you guys are in need of it 27103 is going to be that numerical sequence to get y'all into the bunk but if that's out of date by the time you're trying to use it make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang and if you are not seeing it down below you could be the fan freaking fantastic glad last you go ahead and drop it down there for anyone who might be in need of those numbers and spread some positivity to anyone who again might be in need i did a freaking positivity boys and girls that's what it's all about Woo! Mama!
and making our way towards floppiness. Pretty hard to complain about that. But you guys know as soon as anything new comes out, new updates, all that, we're showcasing everything that we humanly can within that update. Right now, we're in the midst of showcasing update 1.11.8. All the new events as they continue occurring. We got some active skill mods we're going to hopefully do. A, actually, I want to do an unboxing for the active skill mods. And hopefully, we get lucky enough... For, Hopefully we can get ourselves, we, we definitely got to save up some dollar reduce to organize. Hello, I like what I'm seeing here, but definitely most likely got to save up some dollar reduce to organize a large room. Oh, oh, I like what I see today, baby. baby. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some stuff away. And by the way, you guys might see that here we actually got some materials. That's going to be going towards today's raid. In case you guys did not notice, I probably should have put that away into the chopper. That, that That's my bad, guys. Actually, I'll go ahead and actually put, put that away really quickly since, you know, we probably don't need that with us down in the depths of the bunker while we murder the blind one and earn that raid that we are going to be going out on today but the good news is this could be one of the hardest raids out there we'll be prepared because this is probably the most prepared we've been in, in a minute we have four c4 at our disposal dude i cannot remember the last time i had that much c4 chilling in my inventory usually we're sitting at right around two or three and whenever we're like doing videos because that's kind of like a just a good point i like to be at like to have like two to three at our disposal since again well there's raids to be done y'all know i like to raid daily and uh that is a uh it is uh it's it's uh it, it takes a lot of booms oftentimes especially when the bases are stone that is when the booms are definitely required and guess what i let no stone walls get between me and having some fun especially for you guys and showcasing hopefully continuing to showcase every single base hopefully imaginable so when you guys come across that base as well yourselves you know what to do hold on did i activate hard mode i don't think i activated hard mode god dang it puppy but uh so you guys know what to do and kind of good chest to check out what to expect out of bases what to bring along for raids etc etc and yeah i don't yeah it's looking not red enough dude this has to look like mountain dew code red that is the way you know that hard mode has been enabled but yeah as soon as any new update comes out such as update 1.11.8 we're diving headfirst into it showcasing all that it has to offer it doesn't matter what it is we're gonna try to showcase off all those active skill mods we gotta hopefully most likely it's going to be a pretty pretty nice dent to our wallet which is why a huge thank you again to those of y'all who do go ahead and download that from the top of the description the first link within the description first link within the pin comment go ahead and start earning some gift cards for yourselves and also it does help support us especially since we are plotting a large blueprint unboxing because there are four new extremely rare active skill mod blueprints that we need to get rare blueprint packs only guarantee us one extremely rare blueprint rare blueprint packs are 10 bucks a pop once you start doing the math your boy listen if i need to go bankrupt to showcase every single thing that an update has to showcase god dang it i will do it you know why because i would do anything for your most fan freaking fantastic lads and lasses out there on one condition Y'all are fan freaking fantastic. Spread some. Why'd you start running over there, my guy? But y'all are fan freaking fantastic. Spread some positivity. Do some good. Bring wellness upon others. All that type of jazz. Just try to be a positive force in your own lives and in the lives of others that you might know at the end of the day. That's mainly what I'm asking for you guys to try and just make a positive impact, whether it be, you know, it doesn't even be. I'm not saying, like, go out there and solve world hunger. Although, hey, if you have the cure to world hunger, I'm just saying be a pretty cool move to go ahead and solve it really quick but even like on a small scale and just trying to be like fan freaking fantastic maybe to those of y'all who you might know or maybe just a random stranger who seems to be down on his luck anything like that you guys know i'm just all about trying to hopefully at least a little bit try to be a positive force in your guys' lives and hopefully subsequently have you guys be positive forces and others and just try to make the world a slightly better place one person one interaction at a time Am I making a huge difference? Probably not a huge one, man. But God dang it, any type of difference I can make, I'm more than happy to make. But all right, freaking feel-good stories aside, we got to put bullets into exploders and zombies and ultimately murder someone who's blind. So it gets a little bit less feel-good there. But to be fair, the blind one also happens to be the, the zombie. So I, we might be able to get some slack cut our way there. But you know what I mean, okay? At the end of the day, it's kind of a little, little, little tricky situation. Ooh, piece of candy. Give me that dog tag right over there. But, uh, yeah, huge thank you to them for partnering up with us. And hopefully, thanks to that and thanks to you guys hopefully supporting us, we will be able to get a large blueprint unboxing going because... I am not looking forward to looking at my bank account statement trying to get those active skill mods. But there's some worthwhile ones, man. The AK got the bayonet. The saw blade mace got its freaking active skill mod, which looks like... Dude, it might be the freaking metal cutter. That is the big thing I want to get to the bottom of. It's like it motorizes the saw blade mace in some way, shape, or form, which is probably going to be 
freaking nutty. Ooh, we might want to go and switch into some military armor really quickly. And now that we have switched into that, because uh, we're keeping the Irish hat on, by the way. Also, look at me. I'm a leprechaun. I'm all green. But, uh, yeah, that SWAT armor was definitely about to break in the middle of our fight, which is definitely no bueno from me. Uh, no, sir. E definitely would not want that to befall upon us in the middle of such a high-intensity scenario. But uh, what we do have at our disposal is some pretty nice freaking weapons, including a pretty nice M16 setup. I haven't killed the blind with an M16 in a while, so maybe we mix it up a little bit today. But uh, yeah, we're going to be checking out every single new thing that an update does have to drop. Again, does not matter what it is. It's getting covered. We're having a fan-freaking-tastic time along with it. And... Staying on top of that info and that notification bell is a dope way of staying up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely go ahead and give a peek if you haven't already. We actually got some hopefully Westland survival coming your guys' way soon because I heard that that game got a pretty nifty little update here lately. So definitely a little bit intrigued. Also, we're about to fight this frenzy giant. Check it out though. Our active skill mod over here is going to make it significantly boop. What? I just hit you with the slow-mo and he does not see to care oh this is not good 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 hit him with the yukes okay ow he hit me with the punches man get out of here frenzy giant i, I hit him with the slow-mo he was not about it whack all right well we got we just got finessed by a frenzy giant feels bad man but uh yeah westland survival just got a really cool update if you guys like last night on earth westland survival is a similar mobile survival game although instead of zombies it's kind of has like bandits and it's set within the wild west but uh i think this update which is why i'm really excited to check it out I think it freaking added in, like, kind of its version of a raiding system and, like, bandits coming to raid you, which I'm just saying, just by the sounds of it, that that sounds pretty freaking cool, my guy. Definitely want to get to the bottom of that. And also, here's what we might do. I might try and actually blow this guy up a little bit, right? Because this does a lot of damage, then just switch over to the pistol right after. There might be a cool little finesse we could try and do here with this guy, so we'll go ahead and start doing that, but definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Gonna hopefully have a dope video coming on that tomorrow, not to mention the Life After series. A lot of you guys seem to be loving the new mobile survival game that is definitely a little bit... Okay, let's go and separate ourselves. Let's go ahead and get him with a little bit of boom! That did, like, a decent amount of damage. Dude, we could maybe do, like, 200 damage over... Oh, if we play our cards right, using that little, like, AK trick, we could deal a poop -a ton of damage to this schmuck over here not too shabby don't think the ak is ready for another boom but that's all right we'll just go ahead and pistol drizzle this guy up a little bit he's going to run for his snacks i'm gonna be like no 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 snacks today oh sorry about the burp over there i had a snack earlier apparently because i'm burping no snacks today mr blind one only bullets in your brain hope that that is cool let's go ahead and heal separate ourselves a little bit not ready for another grenade launcher both in the next wave we should be good to go he's gonna okay he's not ready yet to uh whatchamacall go and have his next snack but he should be ready here within just a jiffy he's gonna run into the wall we're gonna go ahead and hit him with the boom and that is a good amount of damage being inflicted upon him and up to the ak we go to hopefully finish the job no 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 snacks for you my dude and we'll probably try and just use i'll save that ak because that's at least like another grenade launcher we could use and uh might just try and finish him with the m16 right over here so come on mr blind one run your way into there and bullet storm it's time for the m16 pain train all aboard i don't really care i'm i'm taking you out my dude i'm i, I was not about to freaking withstand another wave of your hits all right all that you are going to do is not successfully withstand a large wave of our rifle bullets because guess what? The M16 hath gotten the best of ye. And now it's time for us to, well, we have unlocked a raid, so... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba! There's a raid coming our way, and let's not forget, we also got to turn in some of this jazz, and maybe if we are lucky campers, there will be a disc that happens to be floppy coming our way today. Eh? Eh, maybe I would not be opposed to such a disc of flop in this game if you just want to go ahead and give it to me I'm just saying just just putting it out there. Just kind of pushing my Boat forwards awful metaphor ignore it. You know what? I mean, I'm trying to be metaphorical and wise and stuff does not work I have the wisdom of a potato. Okay, although there are probably some wise potatoes out there I'm not bagging on any potatoes, you know, I'm not I'm not being a potato -ist or anything like that And let's go and put a couple of things up in there and okie dokie 
No floppiness, but probably the next time we kill the blind one, we should have a disc of floppiness within our future. And just gonna go ahead and fill up our inventory a little bit with some of the loot that we could fit in from, uh, whatchamacall, all the jazz, all those, uh, green and yellow ticket crates that we were able to open on up. But yeah, Life After, that's the new mobile survival game that just recently came out that a lot of you guys seem to be loving who went ahead and actually checked out the series. So, like I'm saying, encouraging y'all to check that out if you haven't already. But I'm uh, not gonna try and plug any other series too hard because this is the last day on Earth, baby, and it's about to be someone's last day on Earth, and not ours. Uh, whatever schmuck happens to be unlucky enough to get raided by us, lads and lassies, or his time is going to come. And oh, we have a little airdrop on the way home. Maybe we will encounter Mr. Chopper, dude, and I shoot him with a granata. All in all, this seems like a win win situation to me. I don't see any way that this could go wrong. I only see ways that this could go right. And maybe left, if you take like three lefts or something. Ah, see what I did there? Ah, funny guy, just kidding. Do what lefts about jokes, feels bad. No, I'm kidding. There's probably some people out there maybe laughing. Hey, to, to those of y'all who laugh, y'all are real MVPs. Uh, but yeah, I've heard about a mythical uh, chopper event or something that appears. And uh, whatchamacallit, not a chopper event, but uh, at an airdrop, a chopper is supposed to appear. And just freaking start roaming around and being a douche canoe and killing people and zombies. I've yet to encounter this chopper, so I'm really just trying to push my luck over here and hopefully encounter such a guy to be pretty cool. But uh, it looks like whoever whoever rides around on this chopper and terrorizes airdrops is a wee bit scared of me by the looks of it, lads. Because we've been at a couple of airdrops ever since 1.11.8 dropped. And he don't seem too keen on paying us a visit, so... Unfortunate for him, he w we would have had a great time. It would have been great, lads, but unfortunately, I guess we're the only ones basking in the greatness, so hey, no worries. More fun for us, less for Mr. Chopper Guy. After all, we got a freaking St. Patty's hat, bro. That's all that we need. That's all that we need. And also a raid. I'm, I'm pretty cool with the raid. So let's go and see. Ooh, we have a dealer. Okay. Actually, we will go to this because is this finally the dealer who wants to trade us a St. Paddy's Day hat? Is this the one? I've been to like three dealers so far. None of them are in the festive spirit. You, Joe, are you festive? Are you having the hat? Because I want more of these hats. I want all the hats that I could hold. I don't know how many hats that is. I'm not a hatologist, but you got any hats over here? Whack! Whack! I wish I had a beer, by the way. If I had one beer... There could be a weapon crate in our future. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate, but still no St. Patty's hat, man. One day it'll happen. Okay, I know I have one on my head, but listen, I want to trade for one. I want the full experience of getting one through every way imaginable, right? But, uh, okie dokie. Enough shenanigans from this. Like I was saying, we have raid. The raid must go on, just like the show. Who is going to be the next victim? of our raid we're about to find out in three seconds and a loading screen and a short walking distance so not not really too far or anything here and we're out of energy as you guys can see too so wah, wah, what you gonna do we'll just drive on over to that base and we'll probably just walk on back from it don't think we'll hit up any more places after that let's get off this thing anyone else paying us a visit over here at our uh, wonderful little thing no okay well Let's go ahead. Let's complete it. We are still at four skulls. So, again, I don't know why people just don't want to raid us, apparently. It is weird. Like, usually, every 24 hours, you either get raided or you at least lose a skull. Neither's happening to us, which is like, okay, suspicious, bro. What's going on? And today's lucky raid is going to be player 7002. So, after a little bit of short inventory management, that is the future. Raiding that schmuck that awaits us. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to y'all in a sec. And with the help of one C4 that we're gonna be grabbing from our inbox, Star, why don't you take more C4? Well, after researching this base a little bit, we only need one C4. And here's the thing, guys. Never take things out of your inbox until you need them. I see people ask me this question. They're like, Star, for the love of everything, take stuff out of your inbox. No! There's a reason that you need to, like, if you do have something in your inbox, hoard your stuff in the inbox. Do you want to know why? Number one. 
If it is in your inbox, it cannot be stolen by raiders. Your inbox does not get raided by raiders. What does that mean? That means especially if you're raiding, if you have something valuable in your inbox and you're like, oh, I want to take this out and look at it. No, 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 no. Do not take it out until you absolutely need it. Because once you take it out, you need to worry about it being raided. So definitely a big negative over there and not something that you want to stress about. Number two, if you take it out of your inbox, you like you need to worry about storing it it takes up more storage room there's only so much storage room you could have within your base whereas your inbox kind of just keeps on growing which is very very handy i will say and uh, on top of that all things in your inbox can be accessed whenever you don't need to be back at your base to take stuff from your inbox you can take things from your inbox literally whatever you want that is some of the big reasons that unless you need something in that moment unless you need that item in your inbox do not take it out of the inbox. I see that question asked a lot, so hopefully I addressed that, and hopefully that kind of answers some of your guys' questions about it. I know some people are going to be like, Star, you should still take it out. I'll, well, I I guess difference of opinion, difference of philosophy at that point, because like I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say at that point, man. <laughs> I just don't. But let's go and put that one C4 that we have taken out and begin spreading some vitamin P really quickly, hopefully for some good luck, baby, baby. And a player 7002 will become our uh, loot base, base of loot that we take from. Not the best me 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 metaphorical term I could think of. I'm sorry. Also, you might be like, Star, why is your mic so different? I thought I've addressed this a couple of times, but I still, I still get comments about it. I'm probably always going to get comments about it as long as I do not address it literally like in every freaking minute of every video. By the way, this is the door that you guys want to go and put some C4 on. Uh, bada bing. Uh, bada boom. We also got to go ahead and deal with some zombies, which actually there are spikes throughout this uh, this base. We're going to go ahead and actually try to ring around the Rosie a little bit and get these zombies running into those. But so much McCall. We are home for spring break right now, so I was not able to bring like our entire setup with us, unfortunately. I really wish that we could have, but we still like our setup with like the better microphone, and I'm actually like recording on my laptop right now, are like just better setup and whatnot in general and all that is all back at college unfortunately that is a that is a big little thing I, I not big little thing i don't even know you know what i mean it's a big setup it's not just something that we can like pretty readily and pretty handily bring home along with us it's a whole process and whatnot that is why we mainly bring like I, you know we pretty much bring it home when like summer comes around and it's time for like summer vacation which is like multiple months you know so uh just unfortunately we were not able to pack up and bring the studio with us so we we're going a little bit of a uh different different setup here for just the next week by the time probably sunday monday rolls around things will get normal again it will be back on ye old and mic and whatnot so right now we're just using like a little bit of a poopier microphone unfortunately i'm sorry that's why i sound different and uh, we are also playing on our laptop which is uh, trust me nowhere near as ideal hello i'd like to break into a freaking wall my guy i don't want to be checking out what's inside of that uh that chest over there Nothing like that. Okay, we've broken into one wall over there. We actually want to go ahead and break into a variety of walls. There's a good amount of loot to be had from this little corridor over here. There are, I believe, I know that these, like, over here for the most part are going to be some of the best loots that we could possiblemente have. And uh, there's going to be quite a few chests, by the way, that we could break into. But pretty much the best stuff you're going to get out of this base is going to be with the help of one C4. So just as a heads up, if you are going to be raiding this base, you you want a a lot of freaking hatches with you because the inside of the stone is uh, honeycombed where it is just entirely surrounded in one by one wooden doorways which means you have to just use more stuff to break through the honeycomb uh, so make sure that you bring a decent amount of hatchets to kind of correspond correspondingly you uh, respond correspondingly i don't know i was trying to let's freaking go shotgun raid and other dope things and some water that i'm a drink and some zombies coming our way that i want to get the hell out of quickly are the zombies not attacking us yet yo what mate yo what dude we made like we're at like 44 noise why hello okay a little bit skeptical right now we should be drowned we're at like 45 noise guys we should be drowning in zombies right about now I am, uh, I'm definitely hearing the zombies now. Oh, the drowning will commence shortly. Okie dokie. They just decided to show up. They were a little bit late to the party today. We'll go ahead and use a little bit of pistol drift. It'll take these schmucks out. I just want to hopefully keep the St. Paddy's Day hat in as pristine condition as possible. No, take out the toxic abomination first and foremost. And then the flota flota will follow. 
and okie dokie well there's that wave taken care of you guys saw some of the things we got from here mainly some electronics that should actually lead to some copper bars out of those batteries once we recycle those properly let's see what we have within this chest right over here no whammy no whammy no thank you so much for the metal and maybe some other things ah, is that a stack of iron plate no it's only four Maybe I'll grab the nails for now until something better surfaces, right? I'm always... I like to prioritize a combination of quality over quantity and quantity over quality. Like, I'm not just going to grab a full stack because it's a full stack, but I'm not going to just grab, like, a single camera over, like, a full stack of something else. You know, I, I just like to take multiple things into account. I don't know. Just trying to justify things and reasons and bleh. Uh, let's go and see what else we got from here. And I believe that chest over there should actually be pretty decent as well. And there we go. The oak, which is pretty nice. We're going to go and actually put some things away here in just one moment as well. Slow-mo. Let's go and slow him down as much as we can. Our one pistol is broken. We still got plenty of fast fighters coming our way. And then the big boys will be coming our way as well. But we could just play a little bit of a elongated ring around the rosy with these fellers. Toxic Abomination number one should be down shortly. And after hitting him with the slow-mo, he is also going to be going down shortly. And okay, no more zombies to worry about until the big one decides to rear his fog little office. Uh, so here's what we want to do. We want to break into this chest right over here. If I'm not mistaken, this should get us a poop ton of wood. Okay, not what I was thinking. I thought I saw some aluminum wire here upon researching the base, but I think that aluminum wire may have just been from a revenge raid. Like, I think the raiders just kind of like that's where the taken loot was randomly assigned. Because that's how revenge raids work, by the way, in case loot is taken from you guys. Uh, what will happen is that loot will g randomly go into one of the chests and then randomly take up one of these slots. So, for example, if you had an AK stolen from you, there's a chance that that AK would replace this truck wheel. If it like if this were to be the random chest and that were to be the random slot, it would actually replace the truck wheel that would otherwise be there. So sometimes like you can get kind of unlucky, like if you're really unlucky and have like something valuable replaced with whatever you had stolen from you, but oftentimes it'll usually end up going in your favor. Uh, so I believe that this chest over here shouldn't be too shabby either. And then after we break into this, uh, that's pretty much our last chest. We could have a couple of walls to break into too, but last chest before the stress kicks in. So let's pick up a couple of things. We'll come back to that red ticket and whatnot. Let's put uh, some of the things away. There's like wood workbenches and stuff we could potentially do something with too we still got a little bit of chopping power left with our iron hatchets i think our level one hatchets are pretty much donezo though yeah they gone they gonzo they lonzo they lonzo paul <laughs> oh man dude too bad he had to get injured man just ra random nba side note i know lonzo he's a he's a polarizing player if, if y'all follow NBA, you know it is a love, 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 or hate, hate, hate relationship with him. Surprisingly enough, I'm in the middle. He's a fun player to watch, you know? Who needs a jump shot? All right, that man passes the ball. He runs the court. He's fun to watch, and uh, he ain't never lost. Okay, LeVar memes aside. <laughs> if any of y'all understood that, hopefully you got a giggle out of it. But let's just put uh, those things away into there and prepare for what is to come, which is... A large fella, a big fella, a big one, some might say, appearing and trying to uh, kill us. Which is why I'm kind of... I'll probably put that over there. For safekeeping. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? Um, nothing I really want to grab from here. I will steal your hydration. Thank you kindly. There are still... No, 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 no. Don't be doing that, my dude. Uh, might as well grab some of these. Nothing really too valuable over those. Um, I know that there's like the one gas water bottle. Water bottles have so little gas and just one of it is kind of neglectable, man. And I think we filled up our freaking chopper gas tank and yeah. <laughs> I think it's full from all the gas we already deposited in there, no? Um, I suppose I could grab some nuts. Some of these nuts. Never know when some nuts would come in handy. Uh, nothing really too valuable over there. These wheels we could scrap within our recycler. And, I mean, one day they'll be used for the ATV, so decent stuff. And, you know, you know we could go and grab some of these, too. I actually have a pretty decent wood stockpile after our last raid, so I'm not too keen on breaking into this over here. Although, maybe we could trade that hatchet over there for that. Uh, we're currently using that hatchet to break into things. I don't really want to break any more wooden walls because I think we've pretty much gotten the best chest that there is here. Instead, why don't we just get a little bit risque? 
Let's try and break into these three things and see if maybe one of them has something decent before the big one shows up and poops all over our parade. Maybe soften that bad boy up a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's just try and get a good amount of stuff up in here. Two chops into that and everything should now be one hit. After one more chop, it will open on up. So, uh, police, open up! Okay, what do you have, Recycler? What do you have? You got some freaking... Ooh, I'll take those phones. Okay, we got the phones. We got a big one very close to us. We got, uh, actually... Okay, I'm not really gonna worry about that. We got a couple of medkits. Oh, mama! We get into a bad situation. And honestly, I don't think we're gonna find anything too worthwhile. We're, we're just... We're just... We're, abort, abort, abort. We're gone. We're gonzo. We're gonzo like Lonzo. Not dealing with it, Okay. I know, technically speaking, there was two first aid kits over there, but I'm also on my laptop, guys, so uh, trust me. For some reason, my emulator on my laptop is a little bit whack, and sometimes, like, the freaking movement thing gets out of order. That was not worth risking it for the biscuit. We definitely, I mean, a, two med kits is kind of negligible. Like, if we're talking a stack, okay, 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 I'm turning around right away. But, uh... That is going to go ahead and do it for the raid. Thank you, player 7002, for the hospitality. And we're probably going to go ahead and toss to that since there is literally one shop left in it. Let's see if maybe this is the fabled airdrop where we get jumped. And if not, hey, there will be some stuff to be had out of it. So it's a win-win situation if you ask me. But as we go ahead and check this out, that is going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for this episode of last day on earth survival as well thank you guys a whole ton for tuning in wishing y'all nothing but the best of luck in that 25 dollar itunes slash play store a gift card a giveaway not to mention oh we got a puppy that's what i'm talking about baby what a pup that's why we made the freaking room right there let's freaking go but best luck to you guys with that we're checking out all this new update getting the chopper gas tank getting all the blueprints that you can defeating all the bosses and hard enemies and hard things that you may come across oh mama mia here we go again. I like this loot that we're seeing. Uh, I'll probably end up getting rid of an ATV wheel and probably trying to finesse a couple of things. A couple of these things. Because I think there was a little bit of a timer left on this airdrop too. So I might try and go back and forth and see if we can't maybe fit in a walk and drop off some loot back at base. But that's just going to be a bit of an elongated process at that point. Nothing that really we got to show off on video. But uh, yeah, with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya. Get out of here, dude.